Hey everybody and welcome back to Q&A Wednesdays. This is my chance to answer all those questions that I get around holistic nutrition and how to have a healthier life through eating real foods. Uh, this topic today that I'm answering questions around is one that plagued me for years and I'm so happy to report that I really don't have an issue with it whatsoever anymore and that is bloating. If you have bloating, you know what I'm talking about. It is so annoying and it's so uncomfortable, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. When you're bloating, it's your body trying to tell you something, and that is that it's not digesting its food properly. There's all sorts of things going on there um, with your bacteria, the good and the bad guys fighting it out. There are you know, enzyme issues. There's, there's, it's a larger problem, so don't just think of it as a nuisance. Even though it is a nuisance, it's more than that. So it's really important that we are not running around bloated and full of uh, nasty indigestion all the time. It's just good for our health. So. I'm gonna address quickly a couple of general questions around it, um, but there's so much to get into. Uh, I'll just be kind of scraping the surface here today, but it's good stuff to listen to. So the first question I get is, I'm always bloated, what food should I be staying away from? Now this is really, uh, it comes down to an individual level, uh, which is what you know the whole premise of holistic nutrition is, is centered on, and that is that we're all individual and we're biochemically unique, and what bothers you might not bother me and vice versa. There are foods that you could be eating that you might be sensitive to or allergic to that is causing you to be bloated. Um, without knowing you individually, I can't know what those things are for sure, but you can start a food journal and start seeing like, when do you get bloated? I ate this and then I felt bloated and kind of get a sense. Two of the biggest food allergens, uh, the most common food allergens are dairy and wheat. So it's the, there's proteins that are, the protein molecules in those two foods are hard to, to break down and digest, and plus they've been altered over the years so much that they really aren't what they used to be, and they're hard for a lot of people to digest properly. So that can cause bloating. I know for me, dairy was a huge um, culprit, and when I cut that out, so many things changed for, for me. It was, it was really quite quite amazing. So I would suggest looking at those two things in your life. Maybe consider cutting them out for two weeks and see where you're landing and see you know, if you're feeling better and the bloating's going away. Um, you can see a holistic nutritionist like myself or a naturopath who can kind of take you through various steps of an elimination diet. Um, but just try it for yourself if you want to. Just try cutting back on it and see if those symptoms go away. And plus there's just the rules of a di digestion. Good digestion requires you to chew, chew, chew. You need to chew your food. So many people uh, just scarf their food down and that is a huge cause of bloating. If you're not chewing properly, you're missing a crucial step of digestion. Digestion begins in the mouth. So you're actually pre-digesting your food when you're chewing it. If you're not doing that, the stomach has way more uh, work to do and it might not be able to do that efficiently. So, you know, digestion is compromised and bloating happens. So you really wanna chew, you wanna take your time eating because that allows signals to be sent to the brain that yes, uh, you, are, you are eating, you're getting full, all kinds of uh, you know, internal secretions are happening, all good stuff when you take your time, don't rush. And if you're stressed and you're about to eat, that's a surefire way to get some good bloating happening. So when you're stressed, you're basically shutting down your digestion. If you can't get out of a situation of stress, and you need to eat for whatever reason, let's say you know you have a big meeting coming up in a couple hours and you're just feeling stressed, you can't change the meeting, but you do have to eat. What I would suggest is that you take three deep, long breaths before you eat, and that will stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, which you need to digest. It will stimulate to turn that on and to just help you relax a little bit, and that will help your digestion, and that will also decrease your bloating. Um, and also, you know, really, bloating, there's a few causes for it, but really there's bacteria, good and bad guys, as you know, in your, in your gut that are, that are keeping you in check. And sometimes when there's too many bad bacteria, not enough good bacteria, you get imbalances that cause a lot of health concerns. Bloating is one of them. So probiotics are really, really an essential thing to be adding to your diet. <clears throat> you can get them in supplement form, and I would recommend that because I think we're all incredibly deficient in probiotics and the good guys. So you can get them in supplement form and just take them uh, from your fridge, or you can eat probiotic rich foods, which is I'd recommend even on top, over, over top of taking them supplement form. The whole foods version is better. It has more, way more billions of live active um, probiotics in them. So you're looking for things like, if you do eat dairy, kefir is a great place to start. 
I love sauerkraut, properly fermented sauerkraut, kimchi. You can get, even get properly fermented any kind of vegetable. Pickles are a good one. I love my fermented dill pickles. They're delicious. They're full of good bacteria. Um, don't, don't be duped by these like big brand yogurt companies that tell you that they're full of probiotics because they're also full of synthetic chemicals and tons of sugar, which is just canceling out the whole goodness in the first place. So um, I would just say start with those fermented foods like I said, um, and you can just add a scoop on top of your salad or you can just even have a mouthful of sauerkraut before you eat the rest of your food and it will help with digestion. There are some other things that you can actually do. Um, The next question actually was about that. What can I take before eating that will help me digest my food better and reduce bloating? And so there's actually a few things that you can do and they're super effective. You can do lemon, uh, lemon water, so a half a lemon squeezed into some water about a half an hour before you eat. It stimulates your HCL, your hydrochloric acid production, and that is great stuff to reduce bloating because it makes sure that you're digesting your food properly. And you can also do that with apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar will also help stimulate your HCL, your hydrochloric acid, in the same way. So you can just take a capful or a spoonful of that before you eat, and that will help stimulate your your digestion and all the uh, juices so that you're not as bloated afterwards. Ginger is a great thing uh, to a, a digestive aid as well. Uh, and digestive enzymes are, are a godsend. If you're having a digestive problem, go to the health food store and get some digestive enzymes and try taking them before you eat. It, I bet it will make a huge difference. And um, I think it's a, it's a good way to start if you're not into doing the apple cider vinegar or whatnot. So that is a good start to a huge question. I hope that it was helpful for you. Um, and I hope that it causes you to feel a little less bloated and so you don't have to like unzip your jeans all the time. And if you have any other questions around bloating or digestion, please just hit me up in the comment section below or you can email me at info at kimdion.com or you can find me on Twitter and Facebook. It's kimdion.com. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you about bloating or any other questions that you might have and I can help answer you in some uh, upcoming Q&As. For now, if you like the video, please like it and share it with your friends so you can help them out with their bloating woes. And please subscribe to the channel so you can see more of it. It's been fun and I'll talk to you next time.